At the beginning of the winter months each year, I have a similar experience. That experience is the first time that it snows or it gets icy and it's slippery. When I drive, I kind of have to relearn how to drive in the winter elements. And um, I wouldn't claim to be the best at it, but I think that I've learned something at least since high school in that I have to be really respectful of what these winter elements can do, of what snow and ice can do. I have to be humble in my driving, basically. I have to realize that I can't go as fast as I usually do. I can't, I can't make the turns I want to do as, as, as tightly as I used to, but rather I have to respect that and really be at the mercy of the elements, just to go slow and to give myself time to get places. It's kind of a giving up of my own way and surrendering to a different way of driving. Now, it might be a good metaphor then for what Jesus asks of us in the way of discipleship. When he speaks to his disciples on the way, he says, anyone who wishes to follow after me must deny themselves, take up their cross daily and follow me. That, that is the true way to real life, to the true life to life eternal is not to take our own path, but rather to deny ourselves and our own wishes and our own wants and to follow Jesus. And that in itself is a scary thing for us. It's like driving on something we're not used to. Because we're used to, I think we can admit it, we're used to trying to be in control of our lives. Even when, it, when we have good intentions, even when that control comes from a place of wanting to do the Lord's will, if we're not surrendered to the Lord each day in prayer, then it's not of the Lord. It's really our own desires. Jesus also tells us that we must do this daily. This is a daily task of ours. This is something that is not just a one and done thing. So each morning we have to get up and say, Lord, I surrender to you and let my will be in accord with yours. And it's not that Jesus's will is totally different than ours, but ours must come into a line with the divine will. He wants to work with us. And when we do that, it's a different way of living, but a beautiful one. And our security is not the same as it felt before. It's almost like, like floating on air, but, but not realizing. And somehow that we still are more secure even so. Because it's like it says in the psalm today that the person who trusts in the Lord and in his law is like a tree next to running water that is, is, is fed daily by the stream of God, the stream of the Holy Spirit influencing us, influencing our thoughts, our words, our actions each day. We have to be obedient to that. We have to be humbled and we have to be subject to the Lord each day of our lives. That's what true discipleship looks like. That's what it looks like today during this Lenten season now to be a disciple of the Lord, to surrender our own will, our own ego to the will of the Father, that we can drive on ice and maybe not go as fast as we'd like to, but we go in the right direction to the, to the, the road to eternal life. So we ask the Lord today to help us to surrender, to surrender all of our own desires and put everything at the feet of Jesus, the one who leads us to eternal life.